Shoot. White flag next time by is the call from race control. Oh, big moment for the leader. That's going to allow Noons to go through. They all check up behind. Here comes Thomas in the silver number 96 with the yellow roll cage. Then Celine Roland, he's not out of it either. Neither is Tyler Gonzalez. This lap and one more. Can we not just leave them going until they run out of fuel? Please, really? please. Just honestly, I, I think that now is the better thing to do instead of seeing 45 minutes here until they run out of fuel. Contact with the leader, with the penalty though. The number five car will have to come into the pits. Oh, Roland just came in oh, with the head of steam as well. Magnificent stuff under very difficult conditions. Noons effectively the leader, leader then in second place at the moment on the road. So this is the battle for the lead. The two red cars, the 32 and the 72. Zilic in only his third outing in the Idemetsu Mazda MX-5 Championship. Jared Thomas right there. Thomas somehow always Jared Thomas has <gasps> speed at the end of the race big moment there intake a breath from Shea Adam alongside me John Hindov here comes the train and Wagner's trying to go down into the pit lane I think there yes yep. he's gone down behind the, the uh, under the yellow line that could have been absolutely horrible he's not got down to the pit lane speed limit has he, he maybe has done but he's gonna lose a whole lot of real estate so now we've got five cars for the lead we're on the white flag lap Zilic drives round the outside, down the inside. Chris Noons in the lead, Celine Roland. And Jared Thomas back down to fifth. That there, right there, is Idemitsu Mazda MX-5 Racing. Exactly. That's what it's going to be for the whole season. Get used to this if you haven't watched it before. Noons down the inside. Gets to second for a moment. Zilic round the outside. Celine Roland's going, keep fighting, guys. I might be able to make a break. Our top five are covered by two-tenths of a second. That is insane. A lap ago, they were separated by half a second. Nobody's surprised Whoa. here. Got to tell you that. This is what we are used to. All right, half a lap. So round about a mile and three quarters. And Celine Roland with the new Austin Hatcher livery on his car. <laughs> Goes up onto the high banks. He'll turn left here. Now, Gonzalez in second. Then it's Noons in third. No, it's Silic in third. Excuse me. Yep. Noons in fourth. Then Jared Thomas. And just off the back of them. Bruno is, Carniero. He's had a really good run, Carniero. Carniero has done a good job. He latched onto the leaders and he's just sitting there at the moment waiting for the opportunity. Where do you make the move? Do you wait to the line? Dare you wait to the line? That's what happened here last year. The spray is making things very difficult. Gonzalez is going to try it into the bus stop. That has been his spot so far tonight as he went four BF Goodrich's off the last time. Does he keep him on the pavement this time? Barely. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> mostly, yes. Now, this is where you want to be quick. You want a great exit out the bus stop. And it looks like Zilic has got one. The former karting star, the scholarship winner from last year. Top three holding themselves up here. Chris Noons could be in with a shout, the 32 car. And look out behind as well for Caniero. He'll be starting to get the draft now. There's four cars in the picture at the moment, but can Caniero catch them? I don't think he can. Oh, someone was on the brakes there. That looked like Zilic had to not just lift off, but break. Two by two to the line. It's Celine Roland. It's Gonzalez. Gonzalez down below the yellow line takes it. But below the yellow line is the crucial thing there. And there goes Roland oh, into no. the wall. In turn one after the checkered flag. No. At the line it was Gonzalez Noons. Celine Roland. Connor Zilic in fourth position. Jared Thomas and Bruno Caniero. Then Michael Carter. That is your top seven. But for Celine Roland, if that car is severely damaged, that could take him out of tomorrow's race. He is a full season championship contender. Gonzalez wow. timed his run. He didn't go for it at the bus stop. Down on the inside, Roland squeezing down on him a little bit there. But I think that's all okay. Almost on the grass for Gonzalez, but he's below the white, uh, the wow. yellow line. And who got second? It was Noons who By squeezed it by the width of a number plate. Two one thousandths of a second was the gap between Noons and Roland for third and second place. Connor Zilich missing the podium oh. by about half of a tenth. Well, that will be being looked at. 
Thank. Oh. 